This is Nolan Darbo, Neuralink's patient zero. He was paralyzed in a diving accident eight years ago, but now he's able to control things with his mind. This is him playing chess with his mind, also him playing Mario Kart. So how did this all happen? Well, we'd have to go back eight years to a warm summer in 2016, where Nolan, an Arizona native and student athlete at Texas A&M University, was working as a camp counselor at a children's camp. According to his GoFundMe page, he had undergone a freak diving accident that left him paralyzed from his shoulders down. For the following months after his accident, his close friend, Greg Bain, started a GoFundMe page to purchase a specialized van that would be able to easily accommodate him and his wheelchair. Although Nolan had received a great deal of support, he was still struggling with his lack of mobility, according to his GoFundMe page. Due to his paraplegia, the 29-year-old has to be transported in a bulky electric wheelchair, making it difficult for him to travel to medical appointments. In a bid to try and raise cash for the much-needed vehicle, Arbo's family sold red bracelets branded with hashtag Nolan Strong. A year after his accident, his supporters exceeded the $10,000 goal, and Mia Neely, the organizer of the GoFundMe, updated the page with a picture of the van on Nolan's behalf. This is a huge milestone for Nolan and his family, Mia wrote. However, Nolan still has a long road ahead of him and still requires lots of specialized equipment for day-to-day -day living. And who would have guessed that seven years later, that specialized equipment would finally arrive? Although certainly not in the way they expected, through a brain chip stitched into his head by a sewing robot. It was a drunken phone call from his friend that convinced him to apply for Elon Musk's Neuralink human trials. Arbo said his friend helped him fill out the application form online, and even though his friend had misspelled his name, he was still offered an interview. His friend, a biology major working for a neuroscience lab, had called him to tell him that Neuralink had just received FDA approval for human trials. Although Nolan had no idea what Neuralink was at the time, he applied, and five months later, he was approved. When the interview slots opened, Arbo chose the earliest one each time, hoping it would give him an advantage of being selected to receive the brain chip. And finally, in January 2024, Nolan had undergone the surgery in a 30-minute procedure where the sewing robot removed a small chunk from his skull and replaced it with the brain chip. He was released a day after the surgery with no apparent issues. On March 20th, 2024, a nine-minute video was released that finally showed off Nolan's newfound abilities. He was an avid gamer and loved to play chess prior to his accident. In the video, he was shown playing online chess without even touching the computer. He was controlling the mouse with his mind. Um, basically, it was like uh, using the force on a cursor <laughs> and I could get it to move wherever I wanted, just stare somewhere in the screen and it would move where I wanted it to. Sitting next to Nolan was a Neuralink engineer, Bliss Chapman, and whilst playing the game, Nolan said, this is one of the things that y'all have enabled me to do. There was another video that surfaced showing him playing Mario Kart with his dad. He said Neuralink allowed him to play video games like Civilization VI, which had been very difficult. I had basically given up on playing that game, so I just wasn't really able to play it as much as I wanted to and y'all gave me the ability to do that again. Nolan describes the experience as life-changing. However, he understands there are some issues and work to be done to perfect the chip. The brain chip, called telepathy, is a cybernetic implant that aims to give people with paralysis the ability to use a computer or phone with their brain activity alone. Signals from the implant are sent via Bluetooth to and decoded by a brain-computer interface, which allows a person to, for instance, control an on-screen cursor or move a robotic limb. Although, according to Elon Musk, this is just the beginning, and hopes to one day make it so that paralyzed people will regain their mobility and be able to walk again. But for now, he considers the first trial a success.